going on guys? John Alder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to build a link shortener with Kinter and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to build this link shortener. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to that channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships on my courses, videos, and books for one time via just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, you've seen link shorteners, URL shorteners all over the place. Usually they're on websites. You can log in create a little link shortener. In this case, the link is longer than our original, but normally you have very long links and then you could shorten them. They're good for tracking purposes as well. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to build this in Kinter. We've I'm using tinyurl.com, but there's like 30 of them you could choose from. You can pick anyone you want. I'll show you how to get into that. And it's very easy. We just type in any website we want, click the link and boom, there it is. And that's all there is to it. So let's head back over to our code. I'm using the sublime text editor and the get bash terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Kinter videos in this series, almost 200. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got a file called shorty.py. It's our basic Kinter starter code that we always have. So this is actually very easy because we're going to use a third party API library for this, something called pie shorteners. And the first thing we need to do is head over to our terminal I'm in my C GUI directory. You may or may not have your virtual environment turned on and we need to pip install this thing. So let's pip install. This is pi shorteners. I've already done this. So it says, hey, you've already done it, but it will install on yours. And that's all we have to do. Now we can use this thing. So let's head back over to our code and let's import this guy. So import pi shorteners. OK, so let's build this thing out. Let's create a label called my label. And this is going to be a label. We want to put it in root. We want the text to say what? Enter link to shorten. And let's give this a font of Helvetica with a size of 34. And now let's my underscore label dot pack this guy. And let's give this a pad Y of like 20, push it down the screen a little bit. So now let's create an entry box. So I'm gonna call this my entry. It's gonna be an entry box. I'm gonna put it in root. And let's also give this a font equal. And well, actually, let me just copy this thing. And instead of 34, we'll make this 24. And then let's my entry dot pack this guy. Let's also give this a pad Y of like 20, push it down the screen a little bit. OK, so now let's create a button. I'm just going to call it my button. And this is going to be a button. We want to put it in root. We want the text to equal what? Shorten link, something like that. Let's give this a command of shorten. And we haven't created that function yet. We'll do that in just a second. And for fun, let's give this also a font of Helvetica with a size of like 24 to make the button a little bit bigger. And then let's my underscore button dot back and also give this a pad Y of 20. So we need this shorten function. So let's come up here and define shorten. For now, we'll just pass. So we've got our label that says enter link to shorten. We've got a little entry box where we can type in the link we want to shorten. We've got a button. So let's also create another label. I'm just going to call this shorty label. <laughs> and this is going to be a label. We want to put it in root. We want the text to equal shortened link. And also let's give this a font of Helvetica with a size of 14, a little bit smaller. And let's go shorty label dot pack. And I really want to push this down. So let's give this a pad Y of like 50 to really separate it from the top part of our app. Okay. Now, finally, we need an entry box where we can output the shortened link. And I want to use an entry box for this because if we use a label, it's going to be hard to drag and drop your mouse and copy it. But with an entry box, you can drag and drop and copy with your mouse. So we're going to use an entry box. I'm just going to call it shorty. And this is an entry box. We want to put it in a root. We want the font to equal Helvetica with the size of like 22. And I want this, I want the text of this to be in the middle of the box. So I'm going to give it a justify of center. And that's good for now. In a minute after we get this all working, I'll change the background color of this so that it disappears. So you can't see it's an entry box, a little trick I like to do. Uh, but for now, Let's just go shorty dot pack and give this a pad Y of like 10. Okay, so we we did a bunch of gooey stuff pretty quick. I'm going to go ahead and save this and run it just to make sure everything's looking okay. So head back over to our terminal and let's go Python shorty dot by. And okay, looking pretty good. So we could type stuff in here, click this link. And uh, hopefully it will appear down here and you'll notice this is centered kind of like that. Okay, so now we just need to create the actual functionality of this guy. So First, let's say if shorty dot get, then shorty 
dot delete from zero to end, right? So this will delete anything that's already in our shorty thing if we do this more than once. Let's save this and run it just to make sure that's working. So if I type something in here and click this, boom, it disappears. Okay, so that's good. So now let's say if my underscore entry dot get. So if there's actually something in there, if there's a URL that we've typed in, then we want to turn it into a shortened URL. So I'm gonna create a variable called URL and this is just gonna be a pi shorteners dot shortener function. And then what do we wanna do? I wanna create a tiny URL. So this is tiny URL dot short. And then here we just pass in whatever our URL is, which is my entry dot get. Now I'm using tiny URL. You can use like 20 other URL shortening services. Some of them require a special key. Tiny URL does not like bit.ly has an API that you can connect to, but it requires a special key. You have to sign up for it. It's free, but you still have to sign up for it. So I'm just going to use tiny URL. I'll show you how to use those other ones, or at least I'll show you the documentation in a minute. So here, this will shorten the URL and assign it to this variable. Now we just need to put that variable up on the screen. So remember, our entry box is called shorty. So we can just say, convert to tiny URL, and then here, output to screen. So we just go shorty.insert. We wanna put it at the end of the entry box. And what do we wanna put in there? Our URL, right? So that's all there is to it. So there's some bells and whistles we can play around with, but that's the basic functionality. So let's save this and run it, see if this worked. So let's go HTTPS, codemy.com. Let's create a shortened link here. Boom, there it is. You notice this is kind of going off the screen. We can play around with the width of that if we want. So let's go ahead and copy this, head over to a web browser, paste it in, see if it worked. Sure enough, it worked. So first thing we wanna do is maybe make this entry box a little wider. So we can do that. So let's come down here and where we're defining all this stuff. Let's set the width equal to like, I don't know, 30 or so. So let's save this and run it, make sure that looks okay. So now it's quite a bit bigger, so that's good. And we also wanna make this invisible. And we've done this many times. We can set the border equal to zero and the background color equal to system button face. All right, so if we save this and run it, now that box disappears. It's still there if we click on it, but it's gone. So we could type in Google, shorten link, boom, there it is. Whole thing fits on the screen, very cool. We can also reverse this, right? So maybe we have a tiny URL, we wanna see where it actually goes without putting in a web browser, how do we do that? Well, let's head back over to our code. And inside of here, uh, let's just say reverse URL. I'm not gonna put this in our GUI, let's just print this to the terminal just to see if this works. So we want now a pi shorteners dot shortener, just like right here, right? And then we wanna go tiny URL dot expand. Again, we just wanna pass in our URL, right? Which is this guy, which is the shortened URL. So that's all there is to that. Let's go if we save this, run it again. We can try HTTPS, codeme.com. We could shorten the link. Boom, there it is. Now, nothing happens till we close this, but when we do, boom, it has reversed it, unencoded it, whatever you wanna call it, expanded it back and printed it to the terminal. Very cool. So I mentioned there are just a ton of URL shortening services you can use. We use tiny URL in this, but if we come back to Google and just Google the name of this library, Pi Shorteners, we can find the documentation. And if we click on this, you can see these are all of the different ones you can use. Here we use tiny URL. And you can see some of the things you can do, like right here, it shows how to actually use it. Very cool. And just come through here and maybe if you're gonna use this thing, read through some of these, read the different things you could do. Like I said, Bitly is a popular one. I use Bitly for my URL shortening service, but to do this with Kinter, you need an API key. And I didn't feel like signing up for a free API key and going through all that, so we just use tiny URL. Uh, but very cool and very easy and that's kind of all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out Codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. 
You and over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codeby.com, and I'll see you in the next video.